Welcome to Engineering Optimization. This course provides an introduction to the fundamentals of optimization with an emphasis on engineering problems. It's going to explore a variety of algorithms to solve these types of problems. So let me just generate a little bit of an outline here of where we start. We're going to start with an objective as a very first thing. What is our optimization problem trying to accomplish? What is it trying to minimize or maximize? Is it trying to maximize revenue? Is it trying to maximize profit? Is it trying to minimize the environmental impact? So first of all, you need to come up with an objective. And then from that, we're going to talk about models. Okay, so modeling or models, it's a mathematical representation of our process. And we can get that in one of two ways. Either we can go with a physics-based method, okay, so where it's based on uh, mass, energy balances, fundamentals of momentum, and force transfer, or we can go with a data-driven approach. So data-driven methods are like machine learning or regression classification. So we're trying to create a representation between our inputs and our outputs as a very first step. And that helps us describe how the factors, the features, these can, okay, we call them factors, parameters, or features, how they influence an outcome. And in optimization, we need to create this model so we can actually go in reverse. So we can go back this way where we say we want to maximize or minimize something from an output or achieve a certain target. What are the inputs that are needed in order to achieve that? So after we've created the model, we need to then do another thing, which is then create uh, the algorithm that can then optimize this model or this process. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is take these two models and we can either go with a gradient-based approach or a gradient-free approach. Okay, so the gradient-based approach, we're going to have a number of methods that we're going to use for that. We're going to first of all explore unconstrained. Okay, unconstrained optimization and uh, also discrete, where some of these variables are going to have, um, you know, continuous or integer or discrete values. So that really comes up here with the model. I'm going to write discrete type variables. Okay, we're going to talk about some gradient free algorithms as well, such as genetic algorithms or uh, simulated annealing among uh, two of those. Okay, and then we're going to talk about constrained optimization. So the KKT conditions and others that relate to how you constrain uh, some of the decision variables or even the outputs and the algorithms that can efficiently solve those with gradient-based methods. Then we're going to talk about robust optimization. So this gets back to the model where we have uncertainty. And we need to be able to adapt our optimization methods so that we can uh, properly handle the uncertainty and design in safety. Um, and uh, you know, considering that most systems have some uncertainty in the parameters, they're not exact representations of our process, and the, the cost of violating certain constraints is very high. So we need to build in uh, robust solutions to be able to handle some of that uncertainty. And then the final one that we're going to deal with is dynamics. Okay, so what happens when the model is not static, but it has some dynamics associated with it? How do we deal with that? Okay, so a lot of the course is on either the modeling 
or on the algorithms themselves to be able to solve these optimization problems. The top part is going here, that's the modeling, and the optimization is often trying to maximize an output by changing the inputs. Okay, let me give you just an overview of the course and I'll bring uh, this over. This is the course website. Just come here to ME575, apmonitor.com slash ME575, and you'll see the course. And you'll see the layout here. The first thing you'll want to look at are some of the book chapters. And uh, you'll just go through this material. It gives a lot more detail about the algorithms. Uh, there are also a number of homework problems. So you can start off with optimization basics, introduces you to Python Gecko, gives some introduction to maximizing or minimizing how you solve optimization problems and constraints, equality and inequality constraints, continuous and discrete variables, and then the different types of optimization that you can perform like linear programming, quadratic, nonlinear, mixed integer, mixed integer, nonlinear programming. So it gives just an overview of some of the terminology that we're going to be using as we describe these types of problems. All right, now we also have activities here as well. In addition to the homework problems, we also have learning activities. So on these, we have things like how do you implement logical conditions, like if then uh, or if else statements, or max or min, in a way that allows uh, these algorithms like gradient based algorithms to be able to perform well even with these uh, types of, of expressions all right and uh, then down further on you have some more lecture notes and then some extra content as well and then finally after this course you also have some related courses like on beginning Python MATLAB or Java there's data science data driven engineering machine learning engineering computing and then our control classes as well. This is the optimization class. And once you finish this, it's a great segue into the dynamic optimization class as well. I hope you enjoy this course. Uh, I hope you enjoy the content that's there. It's all freely available online. And um, there are resources to help you get started, including other books or other content that I've posted here as well.